I'm a teacher at uh, Newmarket High School. I'm the department head of science and the senior chemistry teacher at Newmarket High School. And uh, I've been looking for ways to improve my students' performance um, in my classroom. And uh, at, uh, at the school I teach at, it's been an ongoing problem with students missing classes because of extended vacation, uh, illnesses, and uh, a large per segment of our population is involved in extracurricular activities. So there's students out of your class all the time. And so I was looking at, is there a way I can provide um, instruction to these students? Now in the past we've given extra school help, after school help, we've given instruction in the morning or on your break, but I was looking, is there a way to, to take my lessons and get it to these students? Um, and so I began to explore, I, I began to think, I would like to try doing podcasts. And five or six years ago I was looking, is there a way to do this and what is the software that was out there? And at that time, I had looked at some examples that were on YouTube on the net, and they were some kind of rudimentary examples. Able provided this opportunity in Camtasia Relay, a software program that allowed you to screen capture and podcast your lessons. And so I took advantage of them offering this opportunity to be a kind of exploring the use of this, uh, this software. And so I joined um, uh, a program to, to implement this. And over the past, I guess, four, three or four years, I've been um, uh, using that software to develop podcasts. I always use the podcasts for reviewing before tests. I find it extremely helpful as opposed to, you know, worrying about it after school. Maybe there's something I don't understand or remember from the lesson. It's really great to go back, rewatch the lesson, and you get back all the bits that you missed. One of the things I find the most helpful about the podcasts is that I'm an auditory learner. So I learn best when I hear somebody talking to me or somebody explaining it to me. And it also helps to have a bit of visual to be able to know what's going on while it's being explained. The software is incredibly simple to use, yet very, very powerful. And essentially what it is is a screen capture software that captures anything that's on your computer screen. So I learned how to, I started to look at how do I develop lessons that use my computer screen and then project it to a, a screen in the classroom. So I thought if there's, whatever I do on a blackboard or a whiteboard, I can do that on my computer screen and then I can translate that to a screen or a projector. So I began to think, okay, how do I want to develop lessons? And so over a period of time, I began to explore using animations that were out there on the internet, I began to looking at YouTube videos, I began to looking at um, uh, PowerPoints, and then ultimately, how do I write on my screen? And so I started taking advantage of smart notebook software that allows you to use smart notebook and using a tablet, write right on the, your computer screen, which then gets translated to a big screen. So I began to develop lessons along those lines. And over the course of several years, I was able to develop podcasts for every single lesson that I do in my course. And so using uh, the software, Camtasia Relay, um, and housed at York University, all the files that were, I would create would be housed on a massive server. And then those files, the students wouldn't per se have access to the file itself, but they would be able to stream the file. So they, if it was a video, that they would be streaming this video, which would be in the form of either something that could run off their iPhone or their Android phone, or their Android tablet or their uh, iTablet. And what I saw happen as a result of it, it, it just transformed the learning that was taking place in my classroom. Students were, in some cases, in fact many cases, were going up 10% in their marks and averages. So I found that students were, were taking advantage of this opportunity all the time. And um, particularly, it became really effective for students at the end of the year when they wanted to review, end of a semester, when they wanted to review for an exam. So the podcast, um, I find it really easy to access, especially when it was on the Moodle. Uh, all the links were there. And then I used it a lot for like reviewing, for studying for the tests or exams or anything like that. Um, if there was a lesson that I didn't quite understand that I wanted to get some more help on, or like even if I was in class that day, I could rewatch the lesson if I didn't really understand it. They would go back into their, um, back into the podcast, say from uh, four months ago, and they would watch a podcast and a lesson that had been so long ago, and they could watch it as many times as they wanted to. It also made my uh, extra help sessions much more effective because now students could go watch a podcast several times when they maybe missed the concept the first time, and then we could all deal with the, whatever the, the key concepts that they couldn't get, we could deal with that in an extra help session in a much more effective and streamlined manner. And what's also really great about the podcast system Mr. Finkel uses is if we know that the lesson is going to be really hard and we really want to pay attention, you can pay attention in class without having to scramble down all the notes because the podcast system um, he shows you the PowerPoint while you're listening to him speak and you can see all his notes um, when you're at home. 
Um, the podcast system is also really nice if you're not understanding or grasping a concept because you can rewatch this podcast over and over and over again until you have the concept drilled in your mind. This thing took off so much now. I have students at university who are still watching the podcast for concepts that they um, they kind of forgot about in high school or were a little bit a little bit uh, sketchy on. And so even today, even this week, there are still students that are using the podcast that I've created through that program uh, for the purpose of enhancing their and reinforcing their learning. So I'm, I'm a real huge advocate of podcasts and using this program. And Cam Camtasia Relay is a program that is so simple to use that it's really a click of a button and it records your screen. And then, um, and then a click of a button, it ends, and it gets uploaded automatically. And then you have a, an ability to do some um, um, mild editing, including uh, making it shorter or uh, truncating at the front, truncating at the back. And students, once they get the file, now have the ability to um, stop and start it, pause it where they want, move it to the, to the location in the, that maybe they're hazy on in that lesson. And um, literally, it all, all it in, involved me doing was re-looking at how I do my lessons so that my lessons were done in such a way that they could be captured on the screen. Once I had adapted to that way of thinking, then I could capture anything I did. And um, it took me time, some practice, to get to, to, to work out how I would do that. But once I had it, I had it and it was there forever. So um, I'm a huge advocate of this because it does, it really does enhance student, um, student performance and ultimately student um, achievement.